Hi, good morning all. So today uh, we are going to see that uh, Python classes. Today when you go for a class one, in the KSP Academy we can see that Python LOL classes. If anybody wanted to see that uh, where is the Python classes video, uh, after my our class is over, I am going to upload the videos from the KSP channel. This is you need to go to the Google. I am trying to share. Go to the Google to YouTube. Can type KSP Academy two zero one zero. YouTube. Once if you type like this, the first not uh, icon it mind shows. You can go to the KSP Academy. Then this you can go to the playlist. In the playlist uh, down we are going to I will uh, create one new playlist. In this the Python classes I'll uh, one by one I will uh, try to upload here. You can uh, watch after the class completion of the videos. Okay. I think I hope clear. Now let us. I'll go to that uh, class. So today. Uh, the class one of the Python class one, the following content of we has to see today. Uh, that is first one introduction to the Python. Second one installation of a Python and how we need to install in our laptop or PC. Here we can uh, see here. After that, I need to execute uh, the Python scripts from the notepad that we need to see. And after that sample uh, hands and uh, programs from the notepad, I'll try to show those are the sample uh, parts. Uh, uh, no programs in the notepad. I'll try to show. These are the following content uh, we need to cover today. It could be better for us. So next, uh, we need to enter into the other slide. <coughs> so next, uh, second slide uh, we need to we'll top stop sharing. I'll sharing other thing. <coughs> yes. Now let us we'll go for the next content. Okay, next in the what are the Python? Actually, the what are the features we have the Python? The Python is a high level language which you know very clearly. The next uh, Python a very simple language which we can learn is simple compared to C, C++, Java, Python. Compared to this, our uh, Python it's very simple language which we can learn very simple. Next, uh, it is like a graphical user interface. So it is like a interfaces uh, graphically with one to one. It could be simple. And the third uh, feature is it is a case sensitive uh, small e from the capital. A. It means to say it cannot, it is very sensitive to capital A, a small e differences it can easily identify. It cannot take capital A, small e, both are same. Next, it is a platform independent. So it don't require any plat, uh, platform. It is platform independent only. It should not be dependent. It separately will be there. Next, there was no compiler and compilation separately. We have Python compiler internally. It can take uh, compile internally only. There was no separate compiler for Python. Ideals we have automatically it will compile and it will execute. Next, it is an important, it is a object oriented programming language, Python. Next, uh, in the Python, we have a very uh, few lines. It means to say, if you have a C, it is an example 10 lines. But same program, same logic we can write by using a Python within four to five lines. So number of lines compared to other languages, the Python, it could be less number of lines. Next, there is no a type of declaration here. It automatically will take uh, once we given the data. So these are the features with our Python. Next, what are the applications we have seen in the Python? See in web development applications, we can see in the graphical interfaces applications, we can see in the present uh, business applications, we are using a Python. And uh, next, a uh, business uh, application like the games and uh, 3D graphics, we are using Python in the uh, regular uh, running applications and uh, accessing a data basic data from the etc based data from the different uh, places and other things so different number of applications we have so i was given only basic application which we have right now in the market so these are the things uh, the introduction about your uh, python okay so this is clear now we'll go for a installation of the python and how you are supposed to install the python in your pc or laptop okay so I'll give the process and the where we are downloading the Python latest versions, how we need to install. It is one by one, I'll try to explain. So if you wanted to run any other scripts, you require your Python uh, program in your computer. So how we being a fresher, you have only laptop, but you don't know how to install the Python and where it is, you can take a things. So that is simple. I'll try to show from where you need to go and where you can download. So what he has done is open to the Google, I will end the Google. So go to the Google. After going to the Google, what you need to type is here in the Google. 
python dot org symbol what you are typing python dot org org test you can enter into the so automatically it will show us welcome to python organization just click on this welcome to python organization after this page will open for everyone click on downloads what i told you click on downloads then go to the windows because your software your laptop is like the windows right now you just click on the uh, download icon for the windows windows download then after windows so this page will open so latest uh, release as python is 3.10.7 latest we have python release so just to click on this after click on this the python 3.10.7 uh, it is open just go down one by one go down so we have a option called it as a files we have here in the files we have 32 byte and 64 byte we have i think the latest laptops we are supporting only 64 all so 32 it will be windows will be 32 you can install if it is 64 means you can install a 64 only so click on windows 64 so automatically the python software will be going to be installing one by one so after installing uh, this python software what it has to see is and so taking a five to ten seconds it will be installing here sorry downloading here after the downloading what we has to see your well-known person site what you have to do you need to go to the downloads and uh, right click on that then we need to install so what are the way installing procedure how we need to it's for very simple so timing if you concentrate it could be our hands on screen that's what i'm telling like this will come so once it is over it will be like this will shows then after you can go to the click on the show folder it will be so it will open into the downloads go to the folder just click on right click then you can run as administrator so i'm running the administrator so automatically like this will come you click on yes automatically start installing because i was already installed means i need not supposed to go because already i was installed in the software in my laptop so after this uh, what is going to showing uh, when you're installing after click on the installing uh, the process will show us once i show like this will show us once i'm sharing my screen so like this will come installing python it is like i was installed a 3.9.1 now it is your 3.10 latest version so here installation now like this page open here you need to tick mark installation launcher for all users and uh, as well as add uh, python 3.9 to the path this also you need to tick on this so if you are not supposed to adding the python here so this our python program it should not be linking with our os so when you are executing programs in the command prompts it is not supposed to loaded the python into the uh, command prompts so we need to click on the add path then click on the install now after this both click on just click on the install now automatically click on next next you're well and good automatically python will install after this you can close that so once your python installation is over then a uh, regular music will start so from where we can go and uh, how we can see the python so now installation process you cleared i hope it's clear next what it has to go here uh, go to your uh, desktop mode so uh, no letters here uh, in the search bar you can type cmd or cmd you can open click on this so cmd will open so command from open or else we have a shortcut windows or or also another shortcut windows or click on your laptop windows or also command from open click on ok now your command from is open so this is our command prompt. So here uh, we need to see our uh, basic Python uh, programs and how it's good. Now I'm working in the command prompt, how the things will going to happen. So next year, the first time I'm going to, uh, uh, which version the Python is as uh, it was installed in my computer. If I wanted to see here, I need to check here. Other operations also I'll do and uh, notepad uh, version also I'll to call, call from here also. So I hope clear the installation is done.
you need to go here click on the search bar command from command prompt open so here uh, if i wanted to see which version of python installed we has a uh, shortcut uh, here uh, we need to type just python space minus capital v python space minus v just to enter so python 3.10.4 it was installed in our laptop right now so python what i told you once i am typing python space minus capital v for us to learn the python version okay i'll show another shortcut also there what is the shortcut is python space minus minus version also you type minus minus version also you type enter so python version is 3.10.4 is installed in our laptop so like this we can if you wanted to know the which version of software which you to type python space minus capital v or python space minus minus version also you type so you can understand which type of uh, sorry which version of software you install in your computer so this is the how we need to check the which version of the software so next uh, what i wanted to see here so this is a installation procedure and which version of the software we install that we can check it out so now let us i'll go for the next concept is in our continuation of the topic so installation is done from our end the third topic is execution of the python scripts from the notepad so how we need to execute uh, where uh, python scripts from the notepad so here uh, the first basic level you are learning so i i need to write the python code in the notepad so then after that i need to call this notepad python script to that cmd then i'll run so what he has to go to uh, go to here you need to create one uh, what can i say one notepad i was open here so what he has to do is Okay, something it was opening now i'll be so let me i'll be sharing my screen separately so let's I'll go for a viral desktop mode i'll go any noises so what i have to do is just if you wanted to uh, write uh, is it my screen is was paused out uh, one second i'm sharing my screen uh, this is okay desktop yes that's fine so now your style this will be deleted so what it has to means you need to create one notepad click on go to the new take a one new notepad click on this so here uh, you need to write your program here so what is the program you need to write here just a basic uh, program i'm writing here in the notepad just what i am writing is print ksp academy i am printing a ksp academy now after i am giving the values a sorry capital unit a is equal to some 10 i am supporting giving and the b is equal to some 5 i am supposed to giving right now the name supposed to checking print a plus b checking print a plus b this is the program i written in the notepad after writing just basic addition of program i wrote i once i have print ksp academy because my academy written ksp academy then after or else i'm writing my academy pravin myself is a pravin so i'm writing my name pravin you can keep print ps academy then uh, a is equal to 10 b is equal to 5 a plus b this is a small program after writing click on save this sorry save as click on this is your own right so what we need to save is we can save in the desktop for your uh, pc desktop here we need to write uh, because myself is uh, ksp dot or is writing first program ksp1 dot py so python interpret we called as py we need to uh, save your program with dot py so i am writing 
ksp one dot py. First program is ksp dot ksp one dot py. So after writing your name, you can give dot py. Just to save it. So it means to say you this is a program. It was saved in the desktop as a ksp one dot py. So you are already saved this program. So what you has to do is you need to click on command prompt. So command prompt will open. So in this command prompt, you need to execute your program by uh, calling the Notepad program to this uh, command CMD. So how we need to call uh, that uh, Notepad program into this uh, command prompt means first uh, here what you need to type is you need to go to the desktop mode. So the further uh, our command is cd space desktop. What I'm writing cd space desktop. Just to enter. Now we enter into the desktop mode. So now we are on the desktop. What I type in cd space desktop. You enter desktop mode. After the desktop mode, you need to call your Python. So Python your file. What is the file name? Ksp one dot py. So for that you need to type call this icon Python space. What is your file name? Ksp one dot py. So Python is the program. That is the desktop. We have a Python program. That name is ksp dot py. Once you enter. Automatically, that program just will come. Just I am entering. After enter, what I got? KSP Academy Pravin. This is a print of I given in the notepad. See here, print of KSP Academy two zero KSP Academy Pravin. It got A plus B. That is what I got. A plus B. Ten plus five fifteen. So I got the output is fifteen. I got an output. KSP Pravin is a print of I got. Clear. It's very clear. One second, I have more time telling. Python. Space in the desktop mode. We are already desktop mode. We have this is the property showing. So your file name ksp one dot py. Enter. The answer will come. Okay. If you wanted to change another program, if you wanted to write subtraction means so addition I return. If you want to subtract the print, I can write a minus p. So how much answer you are going to expect? A minus after writing program, just you need to. Control S. So this program now we are expecting KSP Academy Pravin addition and subtraction addition and subtraction programs we are seeing right just and right? subtraction just to this. So Control S. So this is a print of uh, text a plus fifteen I should get a minus five I should get. So after they save it, now let's go to that command prompt. Same thing, same procedure. Python space ksp one same file rate dot py. Just you enter. What is expecting here? You are not going to get. I didn't enter. Just I am telling. You, you are going to get uh, print of ksp academy. Ravi addition subtraction will get a plus b fifteen. I will get a minus five. I should get. Is it coming or not? Just you should enter. Check it out. Yes, we are getting ksp academy. Addition subtraction. This is addition answer. This is subtraction answer. I hope it's very clear. So, like this way, the basic programs uh, we can write in the Notepad. That uh, those functions we can call in this uh, command room. So, this is a very simple and a uh, basic programming session. How we are calling? Now we are executing. If anything you want to write, if you want to write another also, I'm writing is a thousand. This is a five hundred. The five hundred you are writing a plus b or a minus b same thing just to save it. Okay, control s use file save same thing. You need to say type python space our uh, file name is ksp one dot py first program enter ten thousand five hundred is addition nine thousand five hundred is subtraction ten thousand plus five hundred is ten thousand I was given ah. Uh, Test nine thousand five hundred. Addition means nine thousand five hundred. Subtraction I get off. So this is the first one. KSP uh, first program I get off. Want another program also? You can write in the save in the file. List. So I wanted to see here. This is thousand uh, I'll give. This is fifty I'm supposed to give. A plus B. I mean I'm supposed to go for multiplication also. Print A. Into B. 
addition i did off okay subtraction also i did off multiplication also i did off if you want to save in another program we can say save as desktop we are the same because our path is this i am writing ksp2 value second program i am writing save in the same desktop just to save it okay control s over next what you have to do here you need to type uh, python what i need to type python space ksp2 because by a new program case dot to dot py enter something there is no such a file dictionary having desktop 2 i think we saved in the desktop 2 right ksp so something we missed out ksp2 what i was given ksp2 right i am correct only once i'll save it save as in the desktop mode only you are writing ksp2 file name is ksp2 i was given okay file name is here right sorry ksp2 dot py just will save it let me see what's going to happen so now i'll once you do anything is of python space ksp2 dot py yes we got so 10050 950 so if you want to write up addition subtraction addition comma subtraction and uh, multiplication we seen right addition subtraction and uh, multiplication we got so three okay control s just you need to type here python space ASP two dot py our file name in the desktop is list thousand fifty nine fifty multiplication five thousand so this is the basic uh, programming which we need to uh, go like this so I told you the Python version you take Python version minus Python version minus Python or else Python minus Python space minus space version also you type or else Python minus capital you also to check uh, the software version after that you need to open to the c command room you wanted to enter into the desktop mode you need to send a desktop mode by sending a command a cd space desktop so after that we enter into the desktop mode this is the desktop mode we got user del desktop you got so in the desktop mode we written the our code in the desktop by our name is ksp102 after that return program python space ksp1 dot py we need to give because our program is saved with a dot py so ksp academy i was given addition edit of and after subtraction edit of after that i given one more uh, new program that is ksp2 dot py addition subtraction multiplication edit of here so those program i saved so like this uh, you people has to write your own program in the notepad we can uh, save it with your own name save as with your own name you save it here with dot py at desktop because desktop we are uh, calling and uh, with this your in the command form we are entering to the desktop mode we are doing it is so one more if you wanted to clear the complete screen we have a shortcut uh, cls to clear the screen cls just enter entire screen we're going to be deleted so this is one shortcut for the clear screen so this is a way we can write and we can see so i hope uh, i covered uh, the topic which i wanted to committed with you okay so first thing the class when we see introduction of python i told installation i told you so go to the google and uh, python dot organization we can download after downloading and you need to install and after that uh, execution of python such notepad i told you notepad you write from the command prone you need to call your programs and after that uh, hands-on uh, programs so you need to take your hands-on programs with your own you need to write addition subtraction multiplication so you need to write your different numbers and you would execute are you getting an answers or not so those you need to check it out then you get some hands-on experience in this so this is the basic level i was explained today and uh, we are uh, calling we are writing the program in the notepad the notepad program we are calling into the command prompt and you are executing the command prompt 
So in the next classes, uh, we are going to discuss the Python shell and Python interpreter mode and the Python inter interpreter mode. And we need to see then after batch mode, how we need to enter. So every time we are not supposed to write in the program in the notepad, we are calling it to the command from it a little typical. So to overcome this, we are going to the Python shell mode, that classes, that things I'll explain in the next classes in the class to the Python. So till this any doubt is there, you can comment on that the comment session in the YouTube also. We'll get it out. I hope it's very clear. In the comment box, you can write what are the doubt we have. And we'll try to get back in the next class. I'll correct it those. Okay. I hope thank you. We'll meet in the next class uh, in the next session. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye.